This is probably the most famous grave at Bonaventure Cemetery, the grave of Little Gracie. Probably the most visited grave site in Bonaventure Cemetery is that of Little Gracie. Her story has captivated visitors for over 100 years. She died young and was left behind in Savannah, Georgia, all alone after her death. Gracie Watson was born in 1883 to Wales and Francis Watson. The family was from Boston, Massachusetts. They came to Savannah, Georgia after her father was hired at the famous Pulaski Hotel, one of the best hotels in the South. While her father worked at the hotel, little Gracie Watson quickly became the center of attention. She warmed the hearts and brought smiles to the faces of every guest at the hotel. She would dance and sing songs in the lobby. In 1889, just before Easter, little Gracie passed away. It was believed that she died of pneumonia but today they believe she died of pneumatic fever and sepsis. She was only six years old. After her death, she was placed in a coffin and was put in the lobby of the Pulaski Hotels for visitors come by and view Little Gracie. Citizens from all over Savannah, thousands came by to visit Little Gracie over the 10 days while she laid there unembalmed. This is the Pulaski Hotel. It no longer exists. Today, it's Johnson Square. Some people claim that they've seen the ghost of Little Gracie in Johnson Square. She appears to be so just a normal little girl playing with, in a white dress until she disappears into thin air. She was laid to rest in the Watson family plot in Bonaventure Cemetery. As a tribute, Gracie's father had John Waltz carve a monument to Gracie, using only a photograph as a reference. The monument is said to be life-size and a picture-perfect representation of little Gracie Watson. This monument has captivated visitors for years. It is said that her death broke the hearts of her parents. Of course it did. Uh, and the, the monument looked so much like little Gracie that it actually upset the parents. It reminded them so much of her. And it looked so much like her that it reminded them of their loss and it made it hard for them to come visit here, her at this site. Her parents eventually moved to New England and never visited Gracie again. They are now buried in Albany, New York, and I believe, if I got it right, they're in unmarked graves, a long way from their daughter, Gracie. Little Gracie remains in her adopted city of Savannah, where she continues to capture the heart of all who visit her. Unfortunately, due to the popularity, um, Little Gracie's grave was, was vandalized, and they had to put this wrought iron gate up around it to prevent people from uh, messing with the monument anymore. They have uh, they took pieces of the nose off. They've almost flattened the nose out where people have taken pieces of the nose off. Right here, as you can see in this photo. This one has been on my list for a long time and it truly has been an honor to finally get to Bonaventure Cemetery and to visit little Gracie Watson. Rest in peace. So that's the story in the grave of Little Gracie in uh, Bonaventure Cemetery. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. And remember, not all those who wonder are lost. Thank you for watching.